So I, I was testing my SAS user interface, and this is um, a SAS uh, location that somebody gets assigned after they buy something. And one of the most important things is, of course, if email arrives. As you can see, I've left the Launchpad on here. I have some connections on there. Um, the Launchpad actually is a button in my dashboard. I have reorganized the settings um, to be in the user interface. Then, of course, I have a contact um, here, and that contact is called Mail Genius. Well, I just want to show you why SMTP is not the best solution and why a custom server is something that is a little bit better. And, you know, there's this discussion, can I use Gmail? Can I use send include? Can I use what this or what that? There's, there's different parameters to this, but uh, the truth is Mailgun really best way to go, and I'm going to show you here why. So what I did is in my SMTP service, of course, you know, I created a, um, a Megan domain because, you know, you can't get Megan deliverability if you don't have the right domain. But what I also did is I integrated my Apple iCloud SMTP server. And um, to just show you this, this is very simple. Basically, your username, email, and login, and you can do this with um, a few other um, providers as well. Um, so that is very easy. You know, you could integrate SendGrid this way, you can integrate Send and Blue this way, Gmail, Apple iCloud, whatever um, can be integrated this way. And then you can set this to standard. And what you do here is you actually at the top here, you can just apply that this email that comes back gets sent to the assigned user or uh, wherever you want to do it. So what you can also do is you can uh, uh, enable reply tracking. And that was my initial issue here. I wanted to see how reply tracking would affect deliverability. And in this case, it really doesn't make any difference. I'm going to show you why here in a second. So what I did, let's go to my contact here. Um, you should have a contact mail genius. And you see I've sent this contact mail genius different emails in order to test if what, what was happening. So how do you do that? Well, you know, when you have a Mail Genius test, I'm going to show you the worst one here and just explain this in a little bit. So what I do is I just copy this email here. I go back to my contact Mail Genius. I update the email. And, um, and I click Save. And that email is set up. So then I go and I'm just taking this email here that I wrote. And I'm just going in here. And I'm just sending it to my um, mail genius again. So I'm just going to send this. Then, of course, it goes out. And just click this down. And then it takes a little bit. And then you click on see your score here. And it works a little bit on that score. So that's, that's you know, and I'm going to show you that score here in a second. But that's how this happened. So the first time I did this, I actually had the reply tracking on. And so you see here my mail genius score is 97, which is pretty good. I said, oh, cool. So when you look at the email here that just came in, it's a really simple email, you know, in tablet, desktop, raw. We can actually look at this stuff. And you see there is two things that are failing. First of all, we don't have a list unsubscribe header, which means there's no unsubscribe on this email. So uh, this minus one will always be there. But that's okay. You know, we're green, 97. And then there's an HTML best practices, and it says here it failed because there's a tracking link uh, on it, and that tracking link is basically the open. Uh, tracking and so what I thought is okay let's go there and uh, let's take the open tracking off and see if that actually will improve my score so I send the next email with open tracking off and boom I got a 96 I got less I'm like wait a minute and so what I noticed here is of course you know when you look at my email I put a footer in it and so the content of the email of course is important as well but um, I have a spam assassin because I put the the bottom, uh, that, that, that um, footer on the email. So in my HTML best body practices were still there, you know, even though I've taken the email reply tracking off. So the email reply tracking really doesn't do anything. So I thought, okay, I must have done something wrong. I didn't take it off. So I send a third email and boom, uh, with the same thing, same email, you know, here's the email. Uh, I took the bottom out and you see that it's the same email. And boom, I got 89. So now I'm on an IP blacklist. So I'm like, what the heck is this? So my my failing is still in there. List on subscribe header is in there. But now I'm on an IP blacklist. The reason I'm on an IP blacklist is because Apple doesn't control 
what mail service they use. So all of a sudden here, my email actually becomes a lot less deliverable. And um, so let's just go, you know, and, and the issue here is really, and you can't control this. You can call Apple says, I don't want to be on the IP blacklist. But as you can see here on these, I wasn't on the blacklist. All of a sudden I'm on the blacklist. What you can do with these um, SMTP servers, Apple, Google, Gmail, is there is not, it's not predictable what happens. And because it's not predictable, your deliverability will always be different with every email you send. And these are three emails. So let's look at the, the one that we just did when I started this video here. And boom, I am at 99. So, and the only thing that we have in here now is a list unsub, ups, uh, unsubscribe header. Um, and um, I don't know, did I, I switch this on, right? In the beginning. So what we have now is we have a 99. And so what you see is when you use these SMTP servers, yes, you can do it. And yes, most of it is set up correctly. But the problem really is, is that your deliverability is not predictable. If you want predictable deliverability, the only way uh, to do this is with Mailgun. I can show you how to set that correctly up so that that actually works. So uh, that is basically what I want to say here because there's always this discussion. Uh, you cannot use or you have to use Mailgun or you cannot use SMTP and how do I set this up? It's easy to set up, but what you need to realize is that predictability only comes from professional tools.